Hi guys, welcome to Baiju's exam prep and this is Rakesh Talreja. Yes guys, you know, we keep conducting at several point of time strategy sessions for gate, how to conquer gate, then we keep conducting the fundamental sessions of gate, practice session for gate, but somehow I felt that, you know, there are several students who just start the preparation and they are, you know, they even reach the middle of the preparation, but they are not very clear about the gate examination pattern or, you know, they are slightly having some of the doubts, what is the type of questions, how many questions, what type of calculator. So guys, I am going to just brief you all the things about gate exam pattern in this small particular video so let's get started quickly everything about the gate exam pattern we are going to have a discussion here right so first of all let me brief up all the salient features of the gate examination okay one by one so let's get started okay number one it is an online computer based examination since 2014 you must be aware about that number two it will be conducted it's computer based test doesn't mean that you have to give it at your home at your own laptops no you have to still go to a center where you will be allotted a desktop so it will be conducted at select centers and select cities that is what cities the gate exam is conducted that is specified in every brochure once the gate exam is announced right then the duration of the exam is total of three hours Okay, the total marks is 100. Okay, and for this 100 marks, you get 65 questions, 30 questions of 1 mark, 35 questions of 2 mark. Now, how many tech, how many non-tech, I'm going to make that also clear, right? So, 30 questions of 1 mark, 35 questions of 2 marks, that is how you get 100 marks total weightage. Okay, the next important point is the there are three varieties of questions. Yes, okay, earlier it was, you know, since till 2013 when the paper was offline, you can say there was only MCQ question. 2014, we saw the introduction of numerical answer type question and 2021 gate, we saw the introduction of MSQ questions. I'm going to give you a briefing of all the three categories and their marking schemes and very important from 2016, we saw the introduction of virtual calculator in the gate examination okay so let's talk in more details about uh, many of these points yes so that hundred marks how is that divided okay that hundred marks how is that divided so you know I, there are three major categories of the gate examination number one is the general aptitude which is fixed for 15 marks since 2010 yes and there are broadly four categories in the general aptitude the quantitative aptitude which is just your basic maths uh, you know you can say up to the class 10th okay then you have analytical aptitude fundamental logic reasoning spatial aptitude the questions based on figures and imagination and verbal ability the basic english part out of which verbal ability around five marks weightage 5 to 6, okay, rest 9 to 10 uh, is the weightage of the rest of the topics, okay, out of which, you know, one question of spatial aptitude, okay, and then the remaining questions are divided into quant and the logical reasoning part, but this is fixed for 15 marks. Now, important point is being an engineering student, you must realize that this is an area where you can score much and much. Okay, if you if you do the right practice and limited practice, you don't need to put a lot of efforts into this, but you can get the maximum marks here. Okay, quite possible 15. At least, at least the 10 marks can be very scoring. Little bit efforts. If see, you have to maybe put into the verbal ability. If you are poor in English, if you are already good in English, let me tell you, then this section is also scoring because the verbal is not a very difficult level. It's a very fundamental level that they ask. So right from the beginning, if your English is fine, then you know you are eligible to score maximum. You know even 15 out of this. 15 okay with the right set of practice the next category i will put Achha, one more important thing general aptitude syllabus is common to all branch it is not any specific to branch then we come to engineering mathematics again the syllabus of engineering mathematics 90 to 95 percent is, is common for all branches ec double e mechanical civil yeah it is slightly different for computer science because you know it has only the common topics like algebra calculus and probability rest it goes to discrete mathematics but if i talk about the engineering maths weightage it is 13 marks Total six to seven chapters are seen in this particular uh, subject. Now, this is a critical success factor for top rank. Yes. Why? Because many students, you know, the questions in maths, you can say, requires moderate effort. Many students, you know, feel that well, let us focus more and more, more and not on technical. We will focus on the maths at last. And at the last, they are not able to manage time. And then if you give less practice here, definitely it will not be that possible to go up to the 13 marks. Yes, it is a moderate level subject only, but it requires basic level of effort. It's like you can't discard it. Okay. Okay, you can only discard it if you feel that you are really good in the engineering mathematics uh, in your college when you have studied m1 m2 m3 m4 if you feel that you are super strong there then you can initially discard it okay but yeah you have to take care of this and you know not only with respect to weightage it also helps in the smooth completion of your technical syllabus because you know if i talk about some things like calculus integral calculus and the concepts of maxima minima they are used across across every technical subject you know in most of the derivations or you know differential equations are also used a lot of places in our electronics algebra and probability are used in several subjects so guys it, it helps in your technical 
uh, boost up your technical knowledge but at the same time okay if you make sure that the, if you go at least 11 12 marks in 13 then this is going to be a pretty much rank deciding factor because it has a huge weightage it has a huge weightage now rest 72 marks is purely technical syllabus it is purely technical syllabus which is branch specific you know electronics will have their syllabus civil will have their own syllabus etc okay around 8 to 10 subjects depending on branch to branch fall onto this so approximately if 8 to 10 subjects are falling in this bracket so i will say that approximately 8 to 9 marks is weightage for most of the subjects although there are some subjects which will have you know high weightage like 10 11 marks or some subjects like for mechanical production is a subject which can go up to the weightage of even 15 marks but those are only special cases for most of the subjects the weightage is approximately 8 to 9 marks right so that's why i told you okay the effort that will be required here is much less than what you require in any technical subject so you need to have to try to as an engineer you have to be smart and score first of all maximum in this 28 marks 15 plus 13 but to be a topper then you have to come to be this topper to sabhi se banega right so then you have to entirely focus purely on technical each and every subject don't miss out on every subject because each and every subject plays an important role when you are trying to be a topper Right, let's move ahead to the next important uh, discussion with respect to the gate examination pattern. Yeah, now the question distribution. Earlier we saw the weightage distribution. Okay, the weightage distribution. Now let's talk about the question distribution. Okay, so as I already told you, it's a computer based test which contains three types of questions. Okay, the MCQ, NAT, and MSQ. The distribution is something like this. As I already told you, general aptitude carries 15 marks. So there are five one marker questions, then there are five two marker questions. Total 10 questions out of 65 from aptitude and weightage is 15 marks okay next the technical part now as per gate they only have two sessions two sections aptitude and uh, engineering discipline in the, that engineering discipline only the right maths okay but i have bifurcated maths as a separate thing because you know that is a separate area to be targeted to maximize your performance okay so you know if we talk combine maths and technical it will become how much marks it will become 85 marks 25 questions of one mark 30 questions of two mark so 32 is a 60 plus 25 that makes 85 marks and total 55 questions out of 65 are technical including engineering mathematics Achha, engineering mathematics as i told you 13 marks Okay, generally what is the question distribution? This is not fixed, but generally the question distribution is like 5 1 marker and 4 2 mark. Generally, although there can be deviations also, but generally I am telling 5 1 marker, 4 2 markers become 13. But that is generalized, that is not uh, a conclusion, but that is an observation. Now, negative marking is there only for MCQ question. I will explain you what is MCQ and other questions. Oh, but only for negative MCQ question, there is negative marking, that is one third. One third of one mark, one third of two mark. But what is one third of two mark? That is two by three. So, one third of the total weightage of that particular marks. Okay, so that is how you have total 65 questions for 100 marks. Duration already I told you. Let's move ahead to the next. That is the types of questions in detail. So we have number one, the MCQ question, multiple choice question. Next, we have the numerical answer type question, NAT known as. And next is the MSQ, which is known as the multiple select question. Okay, rather than speaking, let me explain you how these questions look like. So I have taken some example from the gate 23 examination only. This is an example of MCQ question, multiple choice question. Okay, of course, the clearly the language says it will have multiple choices. Okay, four choices are given, but out of which only one choice can be correct more than one cannot be correct okay so this is a gate 23 you can take any question i've just taken as a reference this is a mcq question okay where the correct answer is a now this was a two marker question of gate 23 so if you select a you get two marks if you select any other thing you get minus two by three marks okay for two mark two by three is negative marking okay otherwise uh, if you don't choose any of them if you don't attempt then there is no marking neither positive nor negative then there is no marking for unattempted question right okay moving ahead to the next so benefit of mcq question is sometimes options can help you or maybe sometimes you are able to feel that a option is match so you need not check other options so there are some benefits you know slightly easier as compared to the other this is how a numerical answer type question will look like okay again a gate 23 question as a reference so numerical answer type it is again a part it is again a question only there's nothing different but it will be a numerical question which is not followed by any option you are given a statement okay the probability of occurrence of two events are given to you what is the probability of occurrence of at least a or b okay and they'll mention rounded off to how you that's very clearly you must read key up to how much decimal place you have to round off because there is no option so what matters here guys is the accuracy because there is no option to save you sometimes in mcq you can feel okay i have done some calculation that is not matching with the option but i know the concept so maybe i have done some calculation error i can recheck it but here usually while solving the question our mentality is ki we are doing the best 
मैं तो करेक्ट कर रहा हूं सो आई विल राइट डाउन वॉट एवर आई गॉट बिकॉज देर इज नो ऑप्शन टू गिव मी अंट की वेदर आई एम राइट और रॉन्ग सो वाइल सॉल्विंग यू हैव टू बी वेरी मच यू नो केयरफुल अबाउट योर कैलकुलेश यू हैव टू कम अप विदुरेट आंसर एक्यूरेटी डजेंट मीन दट इफ द आंसर इज यूरो ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक गेटिंग ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन You have to enter up to one decimal place, but mostly for you know when the answers are in fraction or in decimals, they will give you a range. Okay, maybe twenty three point twenty three point two, right? So don't worry, they will give a range. Answers are evaluated within a range. Okay, whenever required. Okay, but it's not like you have to be so much accurate. Okay, but yeah, you have to be accurate. Okay. Next, the third variety of question. Acha, important point about NAT also. Let me go back. If you don't attempt the NAT question, of course, no marking. But if you attempt and you get wrong answer, there is no negative marking. There is no partial marking also. Partial means it is not a conventional paper where you describe the steps and you say, "Sir, I have done the steps correctly, but I have done a calculation error. So should I get the marks? No, nobody can check that. Na, only you have to fill the answer. Whatever you fill is right, so you get marks. Okay. Suppose this was a one mark question, you get one marks. If you answer it wrongly, also, okay. you get zero marks there is no negative marking there is no partial marking the third latest category of question is msq the multiple select question as the name says multiple select so you can select multiple options because here one or more than one option can be correct i repeat one or more than one option can be correct so it may be possible that msq only one option is correct it may be possible <laughs> okay so don't be in a judgment ki msq hai to two or more options will be correct no clearly they mention one or more can be correct and not only they mention in the gate 2023 they have given one question also msq where only one option is correct okay so you have to be alert about this okay and i have taken sessions earlier before gate 23 also where i have taken msq question only one option correct i told you aisa ho sakta hai right so that is what it is one or more than one can be correct one correct two correct three correct or maybe all four correct now this is again a gate 23 reference question msq isi saal pucha gaya tha and if i tell you the correct answers here there are three options which are correct here that is a b and d okay so if you choose all three option correct this was a two marker question if you choose all three options correct you get two marks you get two marks but suppose somebody says sir somehow i selected a and b but i was not sure about d i was not sure about eigen vectors of a inverse whether they are same as eigen vectors of a so i chose a and b which is totally correct so should i get two third marks the answer is no there is no partial marking right should you get two third marks and two third of two is 4 by 3 which matters a lot while calculating the final score but no eventually unfortunately sorry you will not get it you will only get plus 2 if you select all three even if you select one correct or two correct you will get zero marks no partial marking at the same time somebody so some student selected c option which is not correct somebody selected c option how much marks will he get minus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 he will also get zero there is no negative there is no partial marking here also so very important element here is okay no negative as well as no partial marking okay so even if you select a totally wrong option you don't lose marks but you only get marks if you select all three or how whatever some question may have two options correct so if you select both then will you get marks if you select one of them you get not the half marks you get zero okay that is how okay so no partial marking no negative marking i hope that is clear to you okay let's move ahead to the next important uh, feature to be discussed and yes before i discuss the next important feature i'm giving you highlights so see i have told you there are three varieties of question there is a total of 100 marks okay but just to give you an idea recently what is happening okay 100 marks okay is the total weightage but what is your target see gate aspirant why you are listening to the video because you are preparing for gate you need to know the pattern but what is your target marks that also you must be aware about na so if you have a look into the recent two years data why i am bringing two years because some years gate for a particular branch can be difficult for another branch it can be easy okay like electrical very very clear okay like for electrical very very clear this year even first ranker all india rank is a 66 marks last year it was at 92.67 because last year paper was very fundamental very easy but this year it was good challenging paper some questions have to be derived instantly only during the exam indirect questions were there okay so guys uh, this is what is just this slide is just to give you an idea you know the qualifying marks is mostly in the range 25 to 30 sometimes it can go up like computer science this year is were easy okay the 32.5 topper marks also going 93.67 but at the same time last year computer science was 25 qualifying marks and topper marks is again 81 okay so you know 
moral of the story is qualifying marks to get the gate score is 25 to 30. Okay, that is the minimum marks above which you get the gate scorecard. You are known as a gate qualified student, but just getting 25 to 30 doesn't give you a good PSU or good IIT, we know. So, if you have to be in the top zone, okay, mostly if you are trying to be target, your topper, your target marks or top 10, as I, if I say your target marks should be more than 80, 85. Rest, it depends on the level of the paper. Sometimes if the paper is very easy, the topper marks will go beyond 90 also, but sometimes if it is very difficult, being very difficult is a rare event, but yes, sometimes if it is very difficult, it can go even up to 65, 70 range. But generally, you are trying to be topper, top 10, top 10, single digit rank holder. So, target at least more than 80 marks. Okay. But at the same time, be preferred. Key paper can be difficult. That is why practice all variety of question at your home also. Practice easy, moderate, difficult questions. So, that even if the paper is tough, you are able to handle it. You are able to handle it. Okay. So, I hope you have got a little bit idea from this slide. Let us move to the next uh, point to be discussed with respect to the gate exam pattern. All right. Yes. And that is basically the virtual calculator. Yes, as I told you from 2016, virtual calculators were, scientific calculators were disallowed. 2015, the scientific calculator tha, but now 2016 onwards until date, you get the virtual calculator. Okay. Which is just a scientific calculator only, but you get the on-screen calculator. Okay, you get an on-screen calculator. You can't carry your physical calculator, on-screen online calculator, which will have many of the features like scientific calculator, except few will not be there. Okay, yeah, so I have taken separate sessions of, uh, you know, virtual calculator on YouTube. It is available. You can search and find. Okay, in a lot of detail, I've told you how this is beneficial, especially what are the memory features. Guys, if you know its memory features, then only it will be beneficial. If you don't know these memory features, na, if you are not aware about this, then you will feel that, oh, it is a very time consuming. It is a very, you know, use, it is not a user friendly. But yeah, if you know about especially these memory features, rest all you can understand log, trigonometric, exponential, all functions are given square, under root, cubes, cube roots, that is everything given. Okay, but especially if you are able to utilize its memory feature, then it becomes a powerful scientific calculator. Otherwise, it will be always a time taking element for you. So, go through all the tutorials, it's available in the YouTube. Okay, and how to practice on this? Can you see? Do, are you going to see directly this in the gate examination? No. Okay. No, 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 not at all. So, from how to get, where to get this scientific uh, virtual calculator during your practice time. So, number one, if you are practicing on laptop or desktop, if you study, if you practice on laptop and desktop, do one thing, just open Google and type gate virtual calculator. You will get the first link by TCS. Because this, this, this uh, virtual calculator has been designed by TCS only for gate. You will get the first link of TCS. Click it up. You will get the exact same virtual calculator that I have shown. You start practicing on that. Okay. Suppose you are practicing on mobile. Okay. So, there is an app that is right now only on Android mobiles. It's uh, right now not available for iPhone users. But yeah, at least if you are an Android phone user, you can directly download Gate Virtual Calculator. Go to the Google Play Store, search Gate Virtual Calculator. Link will come download. So, already you have the same virtual calculator which I shown you in your mobile downloaded. So, whenever you are studying your, your mobile, if you have mobile nearby, you can use that. Okay. And next is the test series. Of course, you, you register to several test series. So, within that test series, whether you are giving subject test, topic test or mock test, okay, you will be practicing you will be solving the questions on virtual calculator. Now, some students have that mentality. They are giving test series, but still they are using the scientific calculator because at, because at home nobody can stop you. Na? But that is not allowed in gate exam, guys. So, do every each of your practice, whether you are attending a class, whether you are doing a practice booklet or whether you are solving a test series, whether you are appearing a test series, your mode of calculation should only and only be virtual calculator. Lock your scientific calculator. Please, it's a very honest advice. Otherwise, you will be in loss at the last. Okay. So, every test series will have the incorporated virtual calculator. So, whenever you are giving a test, you are ultimately using virtual calculator. So, these are ways of getting the virtual calculator and practicing over it right so that's it for the video from my side guys thank you i uh, hope uh, this has given you the complete idea about gate exam pattern and its uh, features okay you can separately if you have any other doubts you can comment in this video and also do mention in the comment box whether this video was beneficial for you or not and any other doubts you can mention in the comment box or you can connect uh, you, you to me on the telegram as well this is the link uh, this is my telegram uh, group you can type and you can join into it or you can connect on instagram as well okay and guys do not forget to subscribe the byju's exam prep youtube channel to get all such contents without any miss you get you know all informative content and as well as the conceptual uh, videos you get you get learn with fun videos you get practice sessions everything available on this particular channel stay subscribed and do like the video if you like the content thank you stay safe and take care of yourself